What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a video. Today's talk is going to be a little bit of an update because I've not spoke to you for a while. It's just me here chilling in my Beyond Athletics performance t-shirt and my checkered pyjama bottoms in my crib with my nicely lit blue lights and I'm going to give you a bit of a life update and then I'm going to talk to you about something that I've been doing recently which is stretching. Uh, I've used to do uh, karate, uh, I used to do martial arts, I used to be able to do the splits pretty much and over years it's kind of gone and now I'm getting back into it and really quite enjoying it. So for those of you that want the life update, stay posted. For those of you that want to learn a little bit more about stretching and exercises on how to stretch, skip to this time. And for those of you that are just interested in top quality, beyond educated videos and top quality advice, Stay tuned and let's do this. Hi there, if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. My name's Adam Ari from Beyond Educated. If you're looking to improve your overall health, become more productive and improve your well-being, why not subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media to avoid missing out on any of the videos that I post weekly. So, welcome. What's been going on with me? Well, a few things. I've been focusing on different things on the channel. I've been focusing on doing some online coaching and programs, which I've been doing for people online. I've been focusing on selling these. Don't forget, Good Friday. Good Friday? Black Friday. Beyond Athletics performance t-shirts available for sale. Use discount code for the next 48 hours to get 20% discount off those. I got myself a new car. I'll give you a quick peek of that. That didn't work. And I've been shopping at the Christmas markets in Manchester and found pretty much nothing because I realised that the best way to do all your shopping is online. So that's what I'm going to do. This weekend I have the bike show. Woo! And I think I'm going to start a new channel. Mm, a new channel with some friends which is on motorbikes it's going to be we've just done like the thumbnail and stuff like that so this is going to be a work in progress if you're interested in go check it out here um, and uh, yeah it's going to be on motorbikes motorbike based but the bike shows this weekend we're going there to have a look at motorbikes because that's what we love to do and then I'm going to give you an update on that I'm going to give you an update on some of my progress I've slowed down posting my updates on Vendler, but I will update you on my progress on that soon. And then really now, it's just about time to jump into a, another video, which is a stretching routine that I followed recently and have been following to improve my flexibility. And seriously, like my uh, box splits are nowhere near, but my kind of front splits are getting pretty close. This video was done about three weeks ago, so just bear that in mind um, when you are looking at me and laughing when I'm trying to stretch. So don't forget, get your merch online, Beyond Educated, subscribe to the channel, and let's make this happen. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick coaching session through my stretching routine. It's, I don't know how long this is gonna be, so I'm just gonna cut in, but ultimately, uh, when we're trying to stretch, we're trying to, I found a lot of benefit from this, from doing these exercises on the actual movements that I'm doing. My range of mobility in my squat isn't as deep as I would like, and by doing these exercises, I've found that I have improved, and my overall bench, um, my overall squat, I should say, is, is uh, has felt the benefits from it, as has my deadlift. So I spend like 15 minutes doing these kind of warm-ups. Some of them look a little bit odd, um, but hey-ho, let's have a look. So we're going to start off here, and we're just doing uh, like a, a, a open leg um, sort of extension and opening out to work the hip joints sort of get the hip flexors moving and it looks a little bit odd but really you're just kind of like panning open on the leg um, to uh, 20 times uh, basically on either side. Uh, moving back we're going to do like a reverse, I don't really know the names for, for all of these but like reverse glute squeeze. So the idea being that you're keeping your body upright and then what you're going to be doing is you are um, like just squeezing at the very end so you can see uh, when I'm doing the one on the rear like really squeezing the, the glutes tight uh, it's not quite a big range of motion as you'll see when you're doing the leg sweeps but really sort of activates those muscle groups then you've got 
got this kind of side to side leg swing so you're opening up the groin you're uh, opening up <laughs> look a little bit crazy these but yeah you're opening up uh, and stretching your, your glutes out and your abductors and just sort of stretching and warming up those muscles Moving on from there, I do a front leg raise and I try and hold it at a pressure point where I feel like the back of my legs and the quads and the hamstrings pull in and just pull it a little bit and kind of hold that for around 20 seconds. These are kind of some of the exercises I used to do when I did martial arts and then like a swinging back leg raise. Uh, now as you go up at the top, if you flex your foot, you'll find that it pulls then on your hamstrings so you're working all those different muscle groups. Doing a little bit too much swinging here, really I want to uh, focus on actually the, <laughs> the movement and keeping my body a little bit stiller. So we've got that. And then here, I think I was just messing around, doing some uh, some kicks that I used to do. This actually wasn't part of the routine, but I just thought I should, was just kind of doing some stretching. These are like uh, a sandanaki, which is a, a chop kick, um, which was quite an effective kick that I used to do when I was doing it and training. Uh, but I don't really still have it, but that's, that's an interesting one. You can get quite a lot of power and snap down when you're doing that. Uh, moving on from there, you're just stretching uh, from side to side, bending the leg, keeping both feet facing forward and you do 20 of those on either side then we've got this one now um, so this is like a, a, a groin sweat stretch and stretches the hamstring on the alternate alternative leg now I actually used to do it placing my hands down but because I've got this equipment here I stretch like this to make sure I don't fall over my balance isn't as good as it used to be but you can if you can do it with your hands down it's really good for for balance as well here you've got me trying to like improve on on really what's the box splits so you can see that uh, I'm nowhere near where I used to be kind of slide into the position um, with a view to uh, kind of stretching and because I'm on the foam mat my feet slide from side to side to kind of get a real stretch and then I go down into a seated position uh, I've seen improvements on these kind of week in week out and then I can pull myself forward and really stretch the actual muscles this just pulls every single muscle on your leg and it absolutely kills moving on from here you can then see me doing uh, some uh, stretches touching my toes kind of a wide base and then moving on from there um, you know depending on how keep your feet pushed back uh, stretching the hamstrings open and then the further you move your feet in the more difficult it will be the further you move your feet out the easier and further down you should be able to get uh, and then moving your feet back together to really stretch the hamstrings again stretching those legs out and pushing that out and then we've got this one which might look a little bit unusual but this is basically my attempt and I'm getting better at this <laughs> but it's still quite far away so um, looks a little bit odd but really I'm just trying to stretch all those muscles trying to um, flex the groin and, and, and the different glute, and the gluteus maximus, minimus, all that kind of stuff and really working towards getting as close to the floor as possible. I used to unbelievably be able to kind of get flat down on this uh, this exercise but now you can see that I'm, I'm quite far away but you can see my feet kind of stretching out. I'm still not that far off really and I know in a number of weeks I'll probably uh, get there and get to well, I give it like four months. I'll pro probably be back doing the doing the splits again. Um, so that's that one. And then I think I just switch it round on the the other side. And really, that's that's kind of it. Stretch routine. Your legs will be absolutely stretched and light and really free to pretty much do like you know. Um, the exercises that you need which is your deadlifts and your squats and other things like that so um yeah give it a go um let me know your thoughts and questions on um can you do the splits can you perform these tasks do you stretch much i'd love to hear your thoughts um thanks for watching guys and remember as ever stay educated Second.